the heroes of this uh, search. The LAPD canine team being credited with tracking down that suspect. LAPD bloodhound Piper. This is Piper. And, uh, and uh, her handler officer, Josh Leon. Good morning. Good morning sir. Welcome. Congratulations. Uh, we were just all so amazed at this story, and, and, and you were not amazed. Uh, no, because uh, we do this uh, on a daily basis. This is what we train for. We train for these big uh, events, and uh, we were ready, and we're just happy that uh, the outcome of this one was a success. How is it possible that Piper, some 12 hours after this suspect had left his scent in front of his apartment building, you brought Piper to the scene, and Piper said, okay, I'm on it. And how quickly did things happen? Right, so... Um, the three things that dissipate scent, so what bloodhounds look for are, are skin grafts that, that a person sheds. So um, what makes them different from other dogs is that they um, don't just smell the smear, the fear scent that people are used to, the, the bite dogs and things like that. They're yeah. actually scent specific. So they look for the one scent, the one person that, that we give them. So time, heat, and wind are the three things that, that dissipate that scent, right? Yeah. Also with contamination with cars and vehicles. Uh, unfortunately for us, we were lucky enough that, that it happened in the middle of the night, so there wasn't really wind, contamination wasn't really a factor, and the heat wasn't there. So I knew that uh, with those three things on our side, the time was the last of my worry because of those things. And once I sent her on, um, on his scent, uh, she was away, and uh, there we went. <laughs> and, and it was a, a few blocks away. Yeah, it was a little bit over half a mile away, um, uh, nearby in a, in a homeless encampment that she took us took us to. Amazing, and and you were saying to to me that you don't let Piper run right up to the tent where the suspect is. It, it basically Piper communicated to you that this is where we are, or how how did you know that this is the end of the trail? Right. So so bloodhounds in general, they're um, they're a loving dog. They're they're a happy-go-lucky dog. They're not your typical hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna bite you. So they don't know yeah. the difference if we're looking for a person um, that's a bad guy or a person that's lost, or which is 90% of what we do right. uh, is looking for miss, missing kids, missing people. So we don't allow them to go up because they can't defend themselves, and also because the person may be armed and dangerous. Yeah. Um, we have tactical teams with us. So at that point, once we got to where we got close and I felt like, oh, we're, we're getting there, then we pull her off uh, for her safety hours. We send the team in and then that's when they found her. Because does she seem more excited or what? Yeah, is, so she... when, when we when we deploy them, they have a special harness that they wear only when they're going to track somebody. So, they, so they know the difference. So right now she's on a collar. So before we go uh, deploy somebody, we put a leather harness on so they get that good pill. And that allows us to feel the pressure. There's a lot that goes into it, but yeah. just to kind of um, to make it to where we can all understand better, it's a different kind of pool and it's a different kind of behavior that the dog gets. Amazing. And how, how much training does Piper get? How long has she been on the force and you've been on the force? So um, we get our puppies, our bloodhounds as puppies. Uh, Piper was eight weeks old. Uh, we get them from a breeder uh, upstate New York. Um, it takes a year to train, to train a bloodhound. Wow. And in that process, um, there's different phases of their training um, and they get certified. Once they get certified after a year, then you can deploy on certain things. And, and yeah, and this was such a high profile case for Piper, but you told us that she's been involved in other high profile cases too. Tell us about one of those. Yeah, so uh, generally what we do, I would say probably 90% of what we do is what our department calls critical missing. So uh, the missing kids, the missing uh, elderly with Alzheimer's, uh, suicidal people, things like that of that nature. Uh, one that I, that I think about a lot that we, um, that we had success on was a 10 year old little girl. Um, she left a suicide note and oh. she took off. Uh, oh. They looked for her for six hours and they called us, me and Piper got there and we found her in, in minutes at a local uh, like grocery store. She was uh, oh. across the street doing some shopping. And, oh, man. Uh, we found her and it was, it was very rewarding for us to you, uh, reunite her with her family. Oh. Well, speaking of reward, when, when we found out that Piper found this suspect, <laughs> we thought, what does she get? Does she get a big treat or it, what does she, how do you reward her, tell her she's done a good so, job? So, hounds in general, um, they're very food driven. So when we do training and stuff, they get uh, treats. We give them just regular dog treats. But when they get a big one, um, we give them uh, a burger, a hamburger. <laughs> so uh, this dog in particular, uh, she's not like most hounds. She only <laughs> likes the, the meat. Um, but uh, In-N-Out's their favorite. Uh, my of other course. hound that I have, she, she'll eat the, the, the 
bread. She doesn't like the bread. Um, but she gets an animal very, style. Right. She right. gets an animal style, and they they have a very uh, strict diet. All of our dogs are on the same food. They eat at the same time. Uh, so. The reason why we don't give them a lot of people food is so when they're tracking and yeah. they see people food, they don't try to get off and, and eat the food. So it's a it's a big deal for them and, and they love it. So. Oh man! Well, again, congratulations! Thanks for everything that you do every day, but, I appreciate but especially that. in this in this case, Piper. Thank you very much. Good job, girl. You got a burger. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I like in and out too. All right. Uh, we want to once again tell you that this is uh, Officer Leon and uh, Piper, part of LAPD's canine unit. Uh, we thank them for their, uh, their service to our community. Uh, Lynette, we're going to send it back to you.